Hey guys, uh, this is May Hammer here for FTO Nerd Talk Nerd News. Um, I just want to say, hey, I'm super happy to be a part of this team. Um, I'm really excited to do this. Um, so let's just dive into the nitty gritty. Uh, my first thing I want to talk about is the Marvel Universe um, and all the movies that will be coming out, hopefully, barring COVID-19. Um, some had some dates, some have been pushed back, but however, we're just going to go into what might be in the next stage. Now, don't mind me, I'm a mom, I still have pregnancy brain, it's a thing, so I do have notes. Okay, so the first thing I want to pinpoint is I want to talk about movies that feature characters of color. That's right, people of color in movies. Yeah, um, so as we know, uh, Black Panther 2. I'm super excited about this coming out. Um, the technical release date should have been um, May 6, 2022, but I'm going to be doing some digging. Um, right now, it's uh, Brian Coogler is on board for the uh, directing of this movie, and he's currently working on the story. Now, I've seen some really awesome uh, rumors and stuff like that. It won't be called Black Panther 2. Um, but we're going to see what happens. There's been talk maybe of Storm being in it, which would be lit. There's talk of possibly Killmonger's girlfriend, if you're into that, Madam Slay. Yes, her name is Madam Slay. And that right there is like, this is a bitch I need to cosplay. Yes. All right. So um, that's just the whispers that are going on right now. Hopefully something comes to fruition. Another character of color that uh, is in development that they announced, Blade. Now we know Wesley Snipes was our Blade. It's all cool. But let's see what they do with it. Um, hopefully uh, it will be Ali that played um, Luke Cage. So it'll be a little double dipping, but we'll see what happens. Um, it was made at San Diego Comic Con uh, the announcement so we'll see what they do with that of course COVID-19 is pushing it back burn on a lot of film production so right now I'm just want to highlight some of these films as I said hopefully I can get some more up-to-date uh, information on dates now there was another one um, is uh, Kamala Khan Miss Marvel now this was the first Muslim superhero in the MCU which is super awesome I'm hoping that they do her justice I'm not sure when the date is. Um, they're going to, you know, some things were leaked, but, you know, let's see what they go with it. Uh, and hopefully that it appears along the same time. I think they're, so they're going to be doing She-Hulk and Moon Knight. So that's the thing. Um, there was another movie that they, um, by the way, this is all like beyond phase four. This is like phase five, I believe. Um, I just got really excited and I want to go into it. Um, let's see. There was another movie that came out that made me excited. All right. Another one that they said that was supposed to release in 2021, but we don't know what's going to happen about that. Um, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Now, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this. Um, the Kung Fu... Uh, fanatic in me is really stoked about that now supposedly it's supposed to be the third movie the third movie in phase four may 7th 2021 supposed to be released COVID 19 probably put a damper on that i'm going to dig around and see if i need some new dates which is probably non-existent because we don't know what's happening in this world right now so let's just keep it on rolling now uh another one was the eternals um, it was supposed to be uh, originally in November 2020, which we know is not happening. Um, so they last reportedly pushed it back to February of 2021. We don't know what's really going on with that. Um, this includes uh, Richard Madden as Icarus, uh, supposedly uh, Angelia Jolie as Thena, um, Selma Hayek, uh, Brian Terry, uh, Tyree Henry, um, a whole long list. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll be having some really awesome stuff from this. 
Chloe Zhao will be directing this. Um, and they said at San Diego Comic-Con, I really, really want to make a movie, a Marvel movie so long for this film, The Eternals. It's about this incredible group of immortals, but through their journey, we get to explore what it means to be human. So I think this is going to be really, a really nice piece. Um, and uh, there's some concept art that came out uh, last year, August, I believe. So uh, check that out. So hopefully we'll have some awesome stuff. Now, some other things that we knew that was, that was supposed to be coming out, obviously, uh, the Black Widow movie, a lot of things that were supposed to be out, not sure what's really happening with all this. Um, the Falcon and the Wilderness, the Winter Soldier, that's going to be something that was supposed to be coming out. Um, let me check the date on that. I am trying to memorize, but like I said, it's a lot going on. There we go. There's my note. Um, it was supposed to be an August on Disney plus at the TV show. But let's see what happens, right? Um, of course, it will have the newly anointed Captain America, Sam Wilson, teaming up with Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier. Um, so I'm really excited to go see that. I've been really, it's supposed to come out in August on Disney Plus. Let's see what happens. Um, that's a TV show though. So, uh, I'm kind of stoked about that. Um, um, of course I want to talk about Black Widow. Black Widow finally getting her own solo movie. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, that was supposed to release, uh, October 28th in the UK, November 6th or where else. Um, we get to see the story behind Roanoff. Uh, let's see what happens though. Uh, let's see. That's all I'm going to talk about right now. There's a lot going on. Um, I really wanted to showcase and talk about that first few bits up front. So stay tuned and I'll bring back some more dates when I have it.